Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. This is Termination, or you can call me Termination X, Termination X. I don't know why I always do that. Um, anyways, this is a Cinema 4D tutorial, and I don't know why, but perhaps it's making it lag a little bit. Um, yeah, I know why. It's fraps uh, okay so uh, I'm gonna be making like a, a tutorial like a kind of like throwsy kind of explosion with a box looking thing and um, this was inspired by nobody actually and I decided to do it because um, I was like I was scrolling like around YouTube I was looking around YouTube um, and then I came by a channel called the Minecraft stars and I asked them if they wanted me to be their GFX guy that's what I call myself a GFX guy and then they were like yes like right away they said yes so I thought maybe I should make a um, a little intro for them but this isn't the intro I'm gonna make them but since my Minecraft, Minecraft is basically a box game kinda I I'm really not interested in Minecraft too much really um, I could give it a try but it doesn't interest me like it interests a lot of other people okay so here's the box I think it might be too big but nope okay so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna download Throwsy if you don't know what Throwsy is is this little plugin that causes an explosion on your stuff <laughs> not really in that specific order now um, you wanna download Throwsy and um, this is a lot of pieces it's a big box, so I make it a lot of pieces. I, I'm not talking about the tutorial now. Uh, I apologize. Here, okay, here's what I just did. I created a box, and uh, the way you create a box is you go up here, go to cube, um, and then after that you go up to plugin, Throwsy, Throwsy, download Throwsy, search it on YouTube, or whatnot. Um, it's a great plugin. It's very, very good. And um, okay, so what you do now is. Uh, you go to break now and what it does now is just it breaks all the pieces all the, the box into a bunch of little pieces and the process is still going it'll take a while depending on uh, your computer and my computer is pretty good so it's going pretty fast and um, yeah okay there we go now you close out a throwsy you don't need to do anything with that now if you play this if you play the video like not the video but the animation you'll see that the cube like falls right through the ground sort of yeah it does um, I don't know why it's going so slow I mean fraps okay uh, okay now you now what you want to do is add a floor and how you do this is you go to this little light looking thing and then go over to floor and then when you are in the floor you make it actually doesn't make bigger I don't know what okay um, now let's play the the animation again and as you can see it's stupid it falls through the ground and okay it's not really stupid but what you want to do so it like interacts with the ground is you want to go over up here to the objects menu you go you um, right click on it and then um, for some people it'll be on MoGraph tags it'll say rigid body but for me it's on dynamics body on dynamics tag and it works just fine for me. Okay, now when you play the um, thingamajig, it like interacts with the ground as you can see. And um, yeah, okay. Um, you do want to add a, a, a sky simply because um, it won't look as good. And for some reason, my sky is stupid sometimes. So we're gonna use color. Um, when your sky looks stupid like this, it doesn't really look like a sky. Then go to use color and turn on, and then it'll look like a sky. Okay, that's pretty nice. It takes a while to render. Not really. I didn't do anything yet. Okay. Um, all right. So um, basically, I said this was gonna be like an intro kind of tutorial. Um, okay. Now leave the box up there. Uh, what you're gonna want to do now is give it an explosion effect. If you um shit actually I'm not gonna give it an explosion effect um I'm just gonna okay here's what I'm gonna do um this is just on the fly guys sorry uh, I'm gonna create a mo text 
bring it up here so I can see it. All right, and then I'm gonna call this tutorial. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, um, go to font, change the font to whatever you'd like. I'm gonna make it nitrix or whatever. Um, okay, I'm gonna make this smaller. Uh, I hope you guys can follow this really it's not hard just follow where my uh, cursor is going and you'll be f just fine this isn't like the most advanced tutorial ever it's the easiest tutorial ever okay so what you do now is uh, you put the tutorial thing on a jig inside the box and uh, if you play it this is what happens it like crumbles and then Voila, there's tutorial. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty nice. Um, it's pretty nice. Okay, uh, what you want to do now is I, I would recommend starting somewhere back here. Right here. And um, you're going to want to go back to the light looking thing. And then go back to, and then uh, open up a camera. Actually create a camera. And uh, as you can see, the camera is like right there there but it's like super 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 I've tried this and until I found out how to um, go into first person and it's super hard to control the camera like this so don't I no just don't do it uh, go up to cameras scene, scene cameras and then camera and then it'll put you into first person view mode um, have camera selected and what you do now is you see this little timeline looking thing the, the thing is the box is crumbling you put it at zero and then go over here to the little uh, key thing it's called keyframe and you click on it and then it'll cre create a keyframe right under the thing uh... what you do now is you move over here and create another no don't create a, a keyframe yet uh... move the camera just about over here like so um yeah this is just fine create another keyframe and then play that back actually it won't do it now um okay yeah there you go there's the camera moving and there's tutorial popping up uh make this 200 uh right here where it says the 90f change it to 200 this makes the um, the uh, composi composition side, uh, size like a bit bigger so yeah I keep scrolling this over actually um, yeah go over here um, there you go and um, move this a little bit like just about about right there and uh, create another keyframe move the camera some more and create another keyframe actually I think I just created a keyframe on the same keyframe yeah I did move this move this over here and uh, oh shit okay now um, now you move the thing to the thing over here to the thing. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at tutorials. I used to make tutorials, but not anymore. Um, there you go. Now go right here. Create another keyframe. Go over here. Um, while you're up here, um, just mess around with the camera. Um, try to get what you want to get. Make it look nice, sexy, beautiful. Um, okay, now create another keyframe over here and then what you do now is go to the end and then what I usually do is just zoom do a, zo a super zoom and then it'll look like this let me play the whole thing I'm a jig okay it's running a bit slow fraps makes it run slow fraps is what I got to record so there you go it looks pretty nice like a little side swoop of the tutorial text and then the super zoom okay now Everything's plain. Everything's nothing. Nothing's nothing. Um, got a new material. 
and uh, I just got this new one so okay uh, I'm gonna make the text blue so what you do here is you put the little blue circle you create it act oh my god I, I didn't explain how to do this let me let me let me go back let me oh shit okay there we go um delete that okay delete that okay now what you do is you go down here to materials where it says materials go to file new material um, you can either double click on it and bring this up which I think is pretty easier than just going over here although you don't have to double click to go over here but anyways I like it better okay now on color you change it to whatever color you want really um, I'm gonna make it like full dark blue um, okay now what you do is you add a reflection and what that does it makes it like reflect make it look nice um, on texture go to Fresno change it to Fresno I just did but didn't explain it and I did explain it uh, okay now uh, now you're done with that and you see it's like a bit reflective um, you put this on the text and on the um, on the box on the cube you can do a different color I guess I'm gonna make it red there we go now go back to reflection Fresno uh, you can also mess around with these reflections you can make it uh, like more texture like hold on let me see surfaces uh, fire and stuff like that uh, it's just a reflection of a fire it's not gonna like just full out blow your mind um, if you do color you go over here um, surfaces fire and then it'll full out blow your mind if you want that um, go back to reflection Fresno okay let's change this uh, uh, change the mix strength and the t and the um, brightness to whatever you think looks best. It's not really that much of a difference. Uh, it is a difference uh, making it uh, Fresno though, so make sure you do do that. No joke on that. Um, okay, so let's get this going. Okay, we play this again, and then there's the box crumbling, crumbling, crumbling. And here we go zooming in zooming in there's the tutorial in dark blue and there you go and ooh, okay let's get that okay that was pretty nice um i gotta say i loved it um oh shoot what am i doing okay let's play this again and then you're gonna render i'm, I'm gonna render this little piece so i can show you guys what it look like uh, it takes a hell of a long time to render this crap so i'm definitely not gonna do it on the video um there's the final render actually it's not red what the hell's going on okay just screw it um you can also add like lights and stuff uh okay i know how to make it look red um i'm gonna show you guys a little trick i learned um create a light bring it up here on the light go to shadow um shadow maps um change the light to red and then it'll make everything look red and I'm sure the tutorial text would look red hopefully okay now play this again it looks like reddish kind of and let's see what the tutorial uh, text looks like and it uh, looks red also I think oh god okay um let's render this out right here everything looks red but it looks better so don't complain I'm pretty new at Cinema 4D and I well actually new to the intro stuff. I to this intro stuff. I do make like a bunch of like text stuff, but that's for like backgrounds and stuff. So anyway, that's how you do it. Um let's play this again. Your final outcome will be like this. You can mess around with stuff. Um you can um create like um, explosions and stuff and I'll probably make tutorials for that also um, I think I might start uh, when I first created this channel I, I was strictly into uh, making gameplays but I think I'm gonna start making more uh, like GFX type stuff because just that's what I've been doing lately and um, it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun doing this stuff and I gotta tell you it will raise your if you start doing GFX stuff um, you'll start getting a hell of a lot of subscribers uh, you just gotta go around and be part of the community and um, do stuff with people not sexually but interactively 
in a good way. Um, so anyways, this has been Termination X, X Termination X, and peace out.